Next into the tank is an entrepreneur who thinks his business is a safe bet. I hope the sharks have brought their fat wallets along. I think I'm going to nail it. Good evening, Sharks. My name is Andrew Leary. I'm 53 years of age and I live in Sydney. Tonight we're looking for $390,000 for 10% of the Buckle Me Up enterprise. Thanks for the opportunity to introduce Buckle Me Up, which was conceived by a group of firemen some years ago who had seen firsthand the tragedy of children being killed or injured in car accidents that were unbuckled. There's over one billion cars in the world today on our roads, and 98% of those cars have seatbelt warning devices for the front seat. Yet 87%, 87% of cars don't have them in the back seat, where our precious cargo travel. Buckle Me Up is a worldwide patented, first ever wireless retrofit seatbelt alarm and safety system that simply clicks on to your seatbelt buckle like an e-tag. Buckle Me Up is paired with your smartphone via a free app that will alert the driver of the car if the person in the back seat unbuckles. Buckle Me Up can also be used in a number of other applications, such as in school buses. So sharks, buckle me up you'll never look back. There you go. <laughs> well done. Hey, that's nice. Well done, Andrew. And that's uh, valuing your business at $3.9 million, 390000 for 10%. Wow. So uh, I guess you better show us how it works. Well, what I'd love is to invite two of the sharks to sit in the back seat. So who'd like to come forward? Well, you're little. I'm going in the back seat with Janine. Does buckle me up include shut me up? So for the purposes of this exercise, Steve and Janine, they're my children in the back seat. <laughs> I now hit the app, and this will tell me through a green signal that two of my passengers are buckled up. So now, Steve, you're a naughty boy. You've dropped your toy, and without telling Daddy, you have to pick your toy up. So now what we see is a visual on my smartphone because Janine looks up to her older brother, monkey see, monkey do. So, Janine, you unbuckle. And we'll see Janine's also go red. Oh, my God. These kids are out of control. Hey, I like it. It's people. It worked. I can remember driving down 30, 30 years ago with a five-year-old son in the back and I turn a corner and suddenly the back door of my car opens and my son, who's five years of age, has taken his seatbelt off because his hat has fallen on the floor. He grabs hold of the seatbelt. I'm hitting the brakes and I get out of the car and he's under the back wheel and it's this far away from going over him. And I will never forget that, that vision. Scary. This is a great product. There's, there's an amazing problem out there. Yeah, 100%. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Good, thank you. Is this product market ready? And does it work 100% of the time? This product is 100% market ready. Uh, and we have, have it fully accredited. What have you spent to date? Well, to date, we've spent over $2 million, which was in my home, which I've sold to put into this business. Wow. OK. Hello, Vicar. That's a lot. Do you have any sales so far, Andrew? Yeah, we've got a, an order from a large bus company. We have ordered 200 um, buses to be fitted out. So how much is that in dollars? $1.9 million. Wow. So are we investing in the uh, everything? We're investing in the operating company, the IP. Is it, is it a whole group, or are there parts that sit outside the investment? Okay. What you're investing is, is Buckle Me Up, PTY LTD, yep. which has the sole and exclusive licence to use the patent worldwide for a seatbelt application. So we don't own the licence. We don't... We have the use of it. We don't own the IP. 
So you own the patents. Yep. So that's in one company. Yep. And then another company is licensed, which is called Buckle Me Up, to use it. So this one is paying royalties to that one yes. to use it. Yes. Correct? Yes. yes. How much is that? It's a per, um, per purchase. Yeah. At this point, to start off with, it's 5%. So who owns this company? M myself. OK, so you're offering us 10% of another company. Correct. That's not going to fly, right? No. You you're basically asking us to pay you for this but get no actual effective ownership of it. And you've taken a 5% clip. It's actually, it's actually a poor deal. So in actual fact, we could together do a deal we could be burning cash 100 miles an hour, so we could be losing money, and you're going, that's okay, I'm still making 5%. You could be making millions, and we could be losing money. The reason why I didn't put a hold of bottles is because of the uncertainty associated with going forward with the yet to be completed. No, no. You thought that you could take money off the top line, and you'd be okay, and the risk is with us. You sit on the beach, you do nothing for it, you get 5% of the sales, and we take all the risks. And then remember, I've got 90% skin in it as well. So if you're hurting at 10%, I'm hurting at 90%. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you're fine. But, but guess what? You've but got guess what? Have... No, but guess you're what? not. Because right. you've still got your 5% off the top. So what you're basically saying is you need to feel sorry for me, right? But this is a harp. The smallest one in the world playing for you, right? For your heart, for your broken heart. That doesn't matter. This is investment, right? Mm -hmm. Why are you trying to do that to us? Why are you trying to do that to an investor? Why be tricky? Whenever a tricky structure gets set up, the first thing in my spidey senses go, Something's being hidden here. I'm, uh, someone's out to do me a disservice. Andrew, I, I can tell you where I am at. In business, I think if things are really struggling and they're, they're just the grinding its gears, often there's a reason. And in this case, I actually think the reason might be you. You've got an unusual structure and just Looking at you and listening to you, I asked myself, could I work with you? And I'm sorry, the answer is no. So for those reasons, I'm out. Um, I'll tell you where I am. When I work with people, I like it all to be nice and transparent and upfront. And if I have to dig for things, I can't work with you. I'm out. Sure, thanks. Would you sell the whole company? Beg your pardon? Would you sell the whole company? I believe that for me to invest money in this business, I prefer to have a very, very large say. That means owning it. As in the parent company as well? I I'm talking about everything I need to operate this. I'm talking about... Yeah, sure, I'd be interested in selling that. So I'll make an offer for 100% of the business. I'm willing to pay you 1.5 million bucks. I want to thank, thank you for the offer. I want to see if there are any counter offers. I'm more than happy to, to, for you to entertain the amateur, amateur hour down the end there. When I do business with people, it is actually a partnership. This is like a first date, but then we go on a journey together and ultimately we want to get married and create something great. At the core, all business is based on trust. So for this deal, I'm out. Thank you. Three sharks are out, two sharks left. Andrew, I think your product is very relevant, but for me, today, it's not an investment, so I'm out. Thank you. What are you going to do? There's a lot of things to think about, but I understand I'm here to, to consider offers and Stephen's made me one. We actually are here to do deals, yep. not just consider them. The clock is ticking here because the, the more I look at these numbers, I get concerned as why, why haven't, why hasn't this an amazing life-saving thing actually done what it's supposed to do? I think his little feet are starting to shake. Right, you're not in this deal. There's been a range of reasons, right, for that, which I don't know yet. Believe in yourself, Andrew. Steve, what, what I would uh, accept would be a $2 million 100% um, takeout. If anyone can take this business, it's Steve. I really believe that. 
and he might even give me a job. But that's for discussion, maybe. Um, no, I'm not going to negotiate against myself. You should have kept one of these four in the game. So uh, if you're at two, we're probably not going to meet. Is that where we're at? Yeah. Mate, I wish you all the best. I'm Thanks. out. Thanks, Steve. Good luck. Yeah, Andrew. Good I luck. I hope it works. It's a great product. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> Andrew, how are you feeling? That was a roller coaster ride in there. Yeah, no, look, it was uh, it was interesting. It got pretty brutal in there at times. How did you handle that? Yeah, look, I tried to, to answer as honestly as I can. Overall, the deal couldn't be done. But that's life. You move on. I think it was a cheeky offer. I don't think it was cheeky. Did you see how quickly he went to sell his whole business? That was a sign, if nothing was.